Oh my god, it's been a damn long while since I put up a video but for today, we will be talking about upgrading my Gmove MC to 48 volt. Let's go! Okay, so Gmove MC has been a really popular e-bike. In fact, even in 2024, there's still a lot of people are still using this e-bike. But the thing is, this is a pretty obsolete e-bike, a 2020 release, 4 year old model, and the fact that this is a 36 volt e-bike. And a lot of people have seen jump over to 48 volt e-bikes such as Oka 3.0, Gmove MC Pro, EcoDrive 2.0, and so on and so forth. The issue with 36 volt e-bike is that it's really slow on hill climb, it also has a very slow pickup speed. And hence, people have been selling off their old e-bikes and buying a brand new 48 volt. But there is another option that you may consider instead of selling off your old e-bike, and that is upgrading your Gmove MC or 36 volt e-bike to 48 volt. And that is what this video is about. Okay, so we are. Two ways you can upgrade your e-bike to 48 volt. The first one is simply just find a mechanic to upgrade for you. You can easily find that on Carousel or from Telegram group chat or Facebook group chat. Uh, just find a reliable source and hopefully they will do a good job for you. And also do take note that some of the mechanic only do provide the throttle version. So yeah, do take note of that. And the second way is to do yourself DIY upgrade your e-bike to 48 volt. And that is exactly the route that I go for. First up, you will need a 48 volt controller. It's kind of like your brain of your e-bike and it's essentially the main component that you need to have to upgrade your e-bike to 48 volt. I will be getting it from AliExpress. I will link it down in the description below. And this is a 48 volt, 500 watts, 20A controller that is specific for Gmove MC. And this will set you back at about $120. And on special day, it will be much cheaper. It will probably like $103. That is the price that I purchased. But if you're using a Gmove MC V2, you will need to get an extra LCD screen that will set you back at about $180. But there will also be another alternative, cheaper option, which I'll link it down in the description below. It will probably be at around $40 to $50. But do take note that you have to choose the SM plug and pairing it with an LCD screen. And the LCD screen will look much different from the Gmove MC, so it will not be as stock. That is why I choose to go with the $100 controller. And a few weeks later, you would have received the package and the controller should look something like this. But this is actually the 36 volt one. I actually have already installed the 48 volt controller inside it. But I will try my best to explain in details of how I installed the 48 volt controller. So first up, you will need to remove the battery first because on my first experience, I actually encountered sparks while trying to install my 48 volt controller and thankfully it did not short circuit anything on my e-bike and so do make sure to remove the battery first. And then followed by trying to locate your controller box is usually at your rear rack and there will be a controller box right over here and you need to find some screws to remove them and then you remove the cover and the controller should look something like this with a lot of wires. And all the wires are actually color coded because this is the, we are upgrading the old e bike that's still using the SP plug. If you're using the newer e bike, it will be a more waterproof WP plug, you're all covered in black. So, for this, you can easily identify which one go to which one. So, I'll just keep repeating, repeating that, and I did not encounter any issues. And two problems I encountered when trying to install the controller or disconnecting the 36 foot controller is the connectors are all covered in some kind of insulation rubber. You need a scissors to like cut them out, which is super tedious and it's not as easy to cut them. And you also have to be careful not to cut the 
wires by mistake. Another thing is that some of the connectors are really, really hard to disconnect. I actually have to use two pliers to try to forcibly remove them. And yeah, then other than that, everything else is pretty simple. It's not really hard to install the controller. And once you install it, you will have to try to fit into this controller box and it's actually slightly longer than this 36 volt controller. You have to try to force it in a little bit and push out some of the wires to make space for the slightly bigger controller. So some of the wires will be more tucked out a bit, but yeah, you will fit in just fine. And as I say again, I actually got the 20A 500 watts controller because this can barely fit it in. If you get any bigger, you probably have to get another controller box to try to fit in a bigger one. So 500 watts is actually the biggest you can go for this controller. And once done, you will just need to cover it up, screw in the necessary screw, and make sure that LCD screen is still working. And with that, you now have a partially ready 48 volt e-bike you can just use it as it is you have to improve hill climb but you won't get the full potential of the 48 volt power you will still need to change the 48 volt battery which i actually got it from carousel you can buy it first hand or second hand but this is all third party so you still have to be careful of any potential electrical fire or whatsoever because they are after all a third party battery and I also do not know the legality of this because all these 48 volt battery are also slightly more heavier which will make your e-bike slightly more heavier than the 20 kg 20 kg LTA limit so this is kind of like a grey area whether you want to upgrade it is up to you but you won't get the full potential of a 48 volt e-bike and if you've installed a 48 volt battery you will need to change some settings of your lcd screen if you're using a gmove v1 you need to obtain a password you can source it from facebook or telegram gmove group chat for the password it very much depends on the initials of your number plate so do source it from there and they're using a gmove v2 you will need to get a new LCD screen that you can buy from AliExpress. If not, you want a cheaper option is you have to get another LCD screen and another controller that works with it. And the settings will be quite different from this KD58C LCD screen and you have to follow that manual. So it will be different. I will only be able to share the changes I can do for this particular KD58C LCD screen. And if you're using Gmove E1, just simply turn on the power and then you press the plus and minus button and you will be as able to reach the password section and simply put in the password that you need to put in and then you and you have been able to enter to the settings, go to the voltage, set voltage go in and i already preset it it's previously a 31 32 and 34 and 36 and 38 volt and we will be changing that to 41 42 44 46 and 48 volt and now you have successfully changed this whole e-bike to a 48 volt e-bike and there is some bonus setting you can do with this LCD screen you can change your mode of speed to 3 speed 7 speed or even a 9 speed e-bike you can also specifically set each mode of your speed to whichever speed you want for example mode 3 you want to have a 19 kilometers per hour you can set it to that and you also have a choice to have a gear 0 whereby you will be in neutral state as I'm really lazy to turn keep turning on and off my LCD screen when I'm delivering or collecting food and when I come, come back again I can just turn it to gear 1 or gear 2 and move off straight away so that's the bonus setting that I can do for with this LCD screen and that is all about what I want to say about upgrading my Dream of MC or 36 volt e-bike to 48 volt and I now have a much better hill climb and also a much faster pickup seat. I do know that some people that upgrade their 
e-bikes with like crazy speed it can go up to like 60 or 70 kilometers per hour but I will not be doing that because drivers are most likely going to misjudge your speed and which probably will end up in accident do please ride responsibly ride safely and please don't spoil the market and that's all I want to say and I will see you guys in the next vlog